Hey everybody, thank you guys and welcome back to the channel. So I am doing earrings. I've already made, oh that's another set that I'm making. So we're not going to even deal with those. So what I'm doing is, well I made these, you saw these, the uh, feather, feathers. But I'm going to do another video and show you these others that I'm that I have uh, made. So thank you guys and welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. So I have these feathers. And I think I showed you before, these feathers had like a little plastic loop there, but I think that was just for decoration. Or, you know, for use with something else. So what I did was I ended up cutting this one. And this one is kind of a, uh, shaped a little bit different than this. So I'm gonna use some um, glue on these and look, once I put the glue on there, that gives it a different look. Okay, so I've already measured these out. They're pretty much the same uh, length. And one is a little bit um, thicker. So, now these that I'm using are, they cord ends. And I got these out of jewelry shop, but I cannot find my, um, oh God, what do you call those, earring, uh, what do you call those things that you put on the earring? I cannot find mine anywhere. And I have a good bit of them. I don't know where they are. What do you call those things that you put on the earrings to uh, hook the earrings? I had it uh, in my mind for about 15 minutes ago and I plumb forgot. So what I am going to do is shave this down a little bit. And um, because I'm going to be using uh, some glue on this to uh, give it the, the desired look that I need it to uh, I'm just shaving down the side because I need the length to stay pretty much the same. Sorry about the train. It's make it time you want to do videos, the train. Everything just want to <laughs> activate. So I think I'm going to do it that way. Make sure that they are even. And these are more, you know, feather earrings. But I think when I put it on there, like I did these, I turned the uh, hook. I put it like this way. I don't do it that way. So I gently turn it. This way. So that'll fit correctly on the uh, air post. So... And I might have to make, do some little tiny adjustments, like use this right here, cut a little bit of this to make it uh, snug. Even though I'm using the glue, I still need it to be snug. So that's what I'm going to do. You know, I got to make it work, right? Because I don't think I have any... I do have some easy crimps, but they cost too much. I gotta uh, use those on my uh, necklaces. So what I do is just put the glue on there, and I'm gonna do this and turn it this direction. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And like I said, you want it to, um, this is just support to make sure that it, and I'm gonna put it on the back like this. And I'm gonna go in with these. And I'm just gonna gently cut it. All I needed was something like a, a brace, you know, to, uh, Make sure it was full. 
and that's the earring. I might go back later and crimp them down, but I don't think I need to go back and uh, crimp it down. Now this little piece I'm going to use on the other one. That's right here. But it seems to be fitting uh, pretty good also. So, yay, it's Friday, right? Let's see what we could do over here at Sunbon Creation. And I really do think the, uh, the people who subscribed, the, you know, the newer people, and I think the um, older subscribers. And guys, you know me, if you got any suggestions or saying, you know, something you think that might be beneficial to me, I don't mind you all saying, try to use this or try using that. I don't, you know, mind that. But this one, okay, this one took pretty good. But I still want to put a little glue. This glue will just uh, blend in pretty good. Because you don't want to have anything in it, you know, it comes apart on people, right? Or on yourself, either way. So that's what these look like. Okay? So, true. And I think that's nice. That's cute, the way I did it with some of that black showing right there. And, it, you know, that gave it a different type of design. So we're going to use some... Um, Ear wires. I'm going to use two ear wires. And I think I'm going to come back because, oh, I can't wait to show y'all these other earrings. And I have to add some things on my website, you know, kind of update my website. My website is www.sunbarncreations.com. That's my uh, Shopify store. So, let's see here. We're going to take these off. I love feathered earrings. But I've had these little feathers. I got these feathers out of um, Hobby Lobby. And I've had them for uh, maybe like a year or so. And I'm like, what in the world can I do with these feathers? And then you have to be careful how you put your hook on. See, I should have put this on this way, just turn it around so it'll fit appropriately in the ear. Yeah, so I'm like, what can I do with these um, feathers? Actually, that was my intention to um, get the earrings, I mean, get the feathers to make earrings. Back. I had it wrong. Yeah, that's it. And I never, you know, did do the earrings. So that was simple enough, wasn't it? Now I had the Buddha heads on these earrings, but I don't know. The um black the way that I had them done before the um they slipped apart. And I'm like, no, 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 we cannot have them slipping apart. Now, can we? Quick and easy feathered earrings. Quick and easy feathered earrings. But, guys, thank you for coming to the channel. Now, these um, earrings, I put the paper over there. Like I said, they just feathers out of Hobby Lobby. And they said you can, these can be bent and shaped accordingly you know to your liking because they have like these little stems in there and that is it so i'll be back in a minute with another one where i show you how i made some buddha earrings with some of my beads and some citrine gemstones okay thank you guys peace have a beautiful day